Hey everyone, April Dunham here. In this video, I'm going to show how you can create a simple dialog box in Power Apps in just three easy steps. But first, here's the intro. Dialog boxes are a great way to prompt for additional input from your users without having to navigate them to a separate screen. A common use case for this is when you want to allow someone to delete a record in your app. It can be really easy to accidentally click the trash can instead of the pencil in this case. If you don't have an additional mechanism to confirm the deletion in place, it can be really easy to accidentally delete something. So typically you'll see a dialog be used when you click the delete button and it'll prompt you to confirm if you want to delete this item. Let's walk through how to recreate that in Power Apps. Now I wanna make this particular dialog box a little bit fun. So I want to design it with Clippy in mind. So what I've did is I've went here into View and Media and I've uploaded a animated GIF of Clippy because we're gonna use that in our dialog. Now obviously you don't have to do this. You can make it as simple or extravagant as you want. It's up to you. The first step is to add in the elements of your dialog. So what you'll do is you'll go into the screen that you want to add this dialog and you'll just start inserting the different controls that you want to appear. So in this case, I want a label that says, are you sure you want to delete? And I'll want two buttons, a yes or a no button. We'll show our Clippy. And we also want some kind of background overlay that will kind of mask the underlying data like you would typically see in a dialog. So let's start with that. How do we add that background overlay? Well, let's go to the insert tab here and we'll add in a rectangle icon for that. So we're gonna make this the entire width and height of our screen. And the key to this is we want this to be kind of transparent. So I'm gonna click on the color here, and at first I'll change it to like a gray instead of this blue. Now if we go to custom, you'll see here, this is the transparency slider. So I can slide this down a little bit, and now we'll have this nice opaque look to it so we can still see what's behind it, but it's more transparent. So that's what we want for our dialogue when it's pressed. So now that we have that overlay, let's layer in the different controls in our dialog box here. So I'm actually just gonna paste in some stuff that I already have built out and we'll talk through what I'm doing here. So I want this dialog to show kind of to the right of our gallery. So let's take a look at what we have here. So the first thing I did here is I went into insert media and I put in an image control and pointed that to our Clippy GIF. Again, this is completely optional. But then what I did is I went in and I've added a label. And in that label, I put in the text, are you sure you want to delete this project? And, you know, the other thing I did was I added two buttons, one which says yes, and one which says no. So these buttons will allow us to get out of this dialog box. So that was step one. Now the next thing we need to do is conditionally show or hide this dialog box here. And before we can do that though, we wanna make it easier on ourselves to show and hide that. So we're going to select all of the pieces that make up our dialogue and group them together. So to do that, you can click on them here on the left-hand side, just hold down the shift button. So it's gonna be our background overlay here, our buttons, our label and our image. And then once they're all selected there, we'll click the dots and group. Then I wanna rename this so I know what it is. So I'll click the dots again and go to rename. And I'll call this group dialogue. All right, so now that we have that in one nice object here, how do we set that conditional show or hide for this? So what we wanna happen is when we click this trash can icon, we want it to show, but when we click either yes or no, we want it to hide again. So we can do that with a variable. So let's start with the trash can icon first. When that's selected, we'll go to the on select here and we'll use a context variable in this case. So we'll type update context and I'll just call this show dialog. And when the trash can's clicked, I want that to be true. I'm actually gonna copy this formula because we're gonna use this in our yes or no buttons. So that's gonna show it, but now when we click yes or no here, we want the same thing to happen except we're gonna set that value to false so it's hidden. So we'll click on the yes button, we'll go to its on select, and we will set that value to false. And then on the on select of the no, we're gonna do the same thing. Now, the last step is to go to your dialogue here in this case, the group that we created, and we'll go to its visible property. 
And instead of having that be true, we're going to set it to our show dialog variable that we just created. So now if we play and run this here, I click delete, our nice little dialog box with Clippy shows up. If I click no, it hides. If I do the same thing on another item, but click yes, it also hides. Now, obviously we'll want to add in some logic to actually remove the record here. But in this case, I just wanted to show the dialog piece. As you can see, it was really simple to get this dialogue up and running in Power Apps. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.